Okay, now I'm doing a... This is going to be one of my... Uh, something I haven't done for quite a while. It's a Acid Music Studio tutorial. In this case, it's something I've been playing around with for a while. Uh, I, I enjoy the show Doctor Who, and uh, this is how you can do pretty easy uh, Dalek vocals with uh, Acid Music Studio or in fact any uh, program that uses VST plugins. Okay, so I've already used a program I use called Sound Engine which is by a Cycle of Fifth. Uh, it is a free recording program that I found works very well and I've already recorded uh, my Dalek thing here and one of the most important parts of doing Dalek vocals is you actually have to try and talk like them and I found that kinda of giving a yelling but also using that kind of a singy songy kinda of way they speak it you know you have to listen to them for a while and then you can get it we are the Daleks exterminate exterminate okay so I'm not sure if that the mic picked that up very well but I've got my uh, what I'm going to be recording right there. Let me get back up out of there. I've actually uh, thought of doing a project where I'm going to try and uh, uh, <laughs> well, it'll be amusing if it works. <laughs> Okay, that's <laughs> too fast. Another little trick. It's turned it into a loop. You can right click on it, go to clip properties, and turn it into a one shot, and it should play. We are the Daleks. Exterminate. Exterminate. There you go. And it'll uh, play back at normal speed no matter what your uh, beats per minute down here are set on. Okay, so now I'm going to bring over the effects thing for this. And I've got a pretty wide variety of effects. Well, hold on a second. Let me pause this and look up the effect I need here. Recording again? Okay, there we go. Okay, so I've got one. It's called MDA Ring Mod, and I'm pretty sure I got this as a bundle on a site from a free uh, VST plugins, which are sound effects plugins. Now, well, actually, I can show you how to do Dalek vocals and how to do Cybermen vocals here because they both use the same processor, and a lot of. Uh, other tutorials on how to do this tell you to use a specific type of ring modulator via a plug-in but in a actuality all you need to do is just uh, type into any search engine VST plugins ring modulator or ring mod and you should be able to find uh, several different ones and the setting you're looking for here in this case it has high and low so you can get different uh, things you know looking for around 30 to 33 Hertz I'll hit it at 31 just to do that all right and let me move this out of the way and hit play we are the Daleks exterminate exterminate okay let me turn this up some so you should be able to hear it Now, obviously, because I'm not one of the vo uh, a trained voice actor, I don't sound quite as good as the actual people that do this on a regular basis. But I also like to add in some distortion when I do this because it makes them sound even nastier. Okay, that's with a distortion put at 65 skew. We are the Daleks. Exterminate. Exterminate. Okay, and also one of the things they do now, I'm going to need to turn this down so I don't blow out my speakers, is they also push the mids and the high, and I usually drop the lows out a little bit on the EQ. I found usually going around a bit higher on the mids, around 8.3 is what I'm setting it at, and I'm putting my treble high.
eyes at 6.9, okay. Let's try it again. We are the Daleks. Exterminate. Exterminate. And that uh, helps bring out some of the... Uh, let's try doing it this way. We are the Daleks. Exterminate. Exterminate. There. I actually jacked the treble up just a bit higher than the mids. And uh, that helps bring out... Uh, the yelling quality, you know, that uh, beyond human capacity yelling. And I also like to use a tiny bit of reverb, reverberation, usually only about 2.5 or so, and I set it to plate. We are the Daleks. Exterminate. Exterminate. It's actually a bit too high. Let's drop it down to about 1.2. We are the Daleks. Exterminate. Exterminate. Okay, and that uh, adds just a tiny bit of a hollow quality to it that uh, helps it sound a little bit less uh, natural, or even less natural. Now, if you want to do Cybermen vocals, I've already got... Let's see. Where is that? C... Cybermen, Dave, let's see. Whoa. Back off. Properties, that needs to be a one shot as well. Okay. Okay, so you should be able to hear that a little bit. In this case, you're going to want to try and uh, speak in a monotone, you know, kind of robotic, and crank the hertz up. Actually, I need to put it up on the better one, and you need it at about 200 hertz. And in this case, I usually go ahead and keep the distortion, but crank it all the way up to 100, which just adds a tiny bit of distortion to it. I drop out the EQ and I leave that reverb on. In fact, I usually put the reverb up just a little bit more to give it even more of a hollow robotic sound. And delete, delete, delete. You will be deleted. And I delete, did the effect on the wrong one, so now the Daleks are going to sound like Cybermen's. Cybermen, Cybermen's. Sure, why not? Okay, back down. A little tiny bit more. You can bring up the ring mod. Once again, 200. Out of the way. Play. I actually find sometimes that doing the EQ actually almost uh, doing it a bit backwards to the Daleks works dropping out some of the treble and pushing uh, the mids a little bit and the bass a little bit. So let's try that again. Yeah, there's a lot of interference on that because of the kind of microphone I'm using, but uh, that should give you a pretty good idea on how you can do your own Dalek and Cyberman vocals just using Acid uh, Music Studio or, in fact, any other type of program that operates using VST plugins. Thanks for watching, and I hope you liked and make some use out of this uh, little tutorial. I'll see you later.